Y'all, Texas is looking so chaotic right now. This is my backyard. It's frozen, okay? As y'all can see by the backyard that Texas is so cold right now. Like, the streets are frozen and everything. Everything's a little melted down right now. This is like the third, fourth day, third or fourth day. Um, and the streets are a little bit melted down. So, people can actually drive now without, like, sliding on black ice and harming themselves. So... I'm praying because my man is on his way to work and I'm just praying that he get there safely. But yeah, we have been in the house for three to four days, you guys. Um, the roads have been closed. School have been closed. Doctor's offices have been closed. Stores have been closed. I'm just thankful this time that we didn't have to experience like the lights going off, the hot water shutting off, um, and no access to food and stuff like that. Because, listen, and I'm just happy about the heat because last time it wasn't a joke. Literally, people was dying from it. So, I'm thankful. I'm not going to be too, you know, worried about some ice and snow right now. Because, if y'all don't know, I'm from Chicago and I've experienced much, much worse. But, I think what people don't understand when Texas always talk about getting a little snow or ice is that the thing that they have to deal with is black ice and so when other states look in at us they be like oh y'all just got that little bit of snow like that ain't nothing come come here and you'll see some real but the thing is is that that little bit of snow causes black ice and people can slide off roads and literally lose their life from that type of stuff so yeah y'all i'm just rambling about it but i'm just kind of happy that the roads are back open today i actually need to make some store runs but it won't be happening today um, but yeah, welcome to my vlog. Time to clean this mess up in this kitchen and put these dishes up. Got this, yeah. It's looking chaotic in here. All right, y'all. So I finished cleaning up the kitchen and I went ahead and made me some coffee. I don't know why I still have on my robe and my bonnet, but it's just one of those days where I'm just late doing everything and it's okay because yeah so yeah you guys in this vlog i'm just going to show you guys kind of some new items that i got um and some new stuff coming up and yeah basically just feel y'all and i feel like i've been really 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 busy lately and so i just need to chill and relax today and just vlog and that's all i'm going to be doing i also want to try to style my hair i did like a half retwist and retwist at the front of my head but i want to kind of style it up into a style but then i'm kind of second guessing it because my hair is getting so long and heavy that 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 styles what i was going to say that styles have been um kind of giving my hair a little tension and so i'm kind of debating if i want to style it or not but if i do of course you guys will see yeah so i just ended up going for the handy dandy half of half down because this is just my signature style and I don't feel like putting no tension on my hair but I do want to try a new style soon because I feel like if I keep doing my half up half down so I'm gonna get tired and bored with it excuse my son you watch I make it up but yeah I also did my skincare y'all it's looking real good I did the like that filter challenge on TikTok like the evil face filter challenge you trying to do like your makeup or your skincare while doing it I don't know if I'm gonna post it or not but it's pretty funny so I'm like Y'all, my hair has really been flourishing lately. Like, yeah, I look real good. Skin glowing. Y'all, yeah, so I did like a mini hygiene shopping vlog on my TikTok um, recently. It's been like a couple weeks. But I seen that they had this new shave bar, you guys. And it smells like cake batter. Like, literally, I've never even been the type of person that's into like cake batter or super sweet scents. But this one smells really, really good. It smells so good, y'all. But yeah, they have this one and they have a new body cream as well, like a post-shave body cream. I want to try that one too, but the shave butter really got to me, so. Y'all see the edges though? It's something about after you do your hair and do your edges, you just be putting the whole look together. Like. Put the band back on because I want to do something to my nails and, um, I have to take a photo, some photos, so I want my edges to stay nice um, until then. So, yeah, usually when I lay my edges down, they stay nice, but we just, you know, we're trying to be, make sure, okay? 
But I'm finna get ready to make me some lunch. I can't believe it's today is flying by. It's like three something already. So I'm finna get ready to make me and my son something to eat for lunch. I do have some chili noodles. If you don't know the ramen chili noodles, those are my favorite noodles. Either those or the I think it's called kimchi hot and spicy noodles. Those aren't ramen though. I forgot which like brand those are. But those are fire too. I like really hot noodles. If it's not hot, then I really don't really eat noodles like that. So I'm getting ready to do my nails. It's my bag of my nail stuff. I know, ratchet. But I got the almond shape. I think I want to do it in um, like a coffin shape. So I'm just going to cut the tip a little bit to make them a little bit shorter because I want short nails this time. But I'm trying to decide if I want to do this darker red or if I want to do this brighter it i'm not gonna do the gel x type nails today just some regular old um press on nails to polish on the top but i do want to try red because i haven't tried red in a long time and it's giving like fall winter vibes it just need a little shaping to the salon <laughs> this is how they are looking you guys so far Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I've been up since 2.32 in the morning with my son. So I'm very tired, but I'm going to try to push through. I didn't end up taking the, um, the clapping is my son. I didn't even end up taking the photos and stuff like that because I had less time than what I thought I had. And the nails took about an hour to do. Um, so I'm going to do that today. And probably... Do a little glam, a little concealer, no foundation look because, yeah, I'm tired and I need something that's going to make me look woken. Okay. Hi. Yes. Okay. Hi. Yes. <laughs> you ready for breakfast? Oh, all right. Here I come. He be yelling at me, y'all. He swear he my parent. Yeah, I pulled out that handy dandy Aztec clay Indian healing clay. And if you know, then you know. This is a holy grail for hair, for skin. It's just really good. I usually use this lately, lately as in like the past year. I've been using this um, on my face when I feel like my pores just need a little bit of unclogging. My pores really don't clog like that. But sometimes I feel like they like they do, but it's not a lot, but still. That's still too much. So I use this and I promise you after I'm done using this and done with my skincare, like my pores be looking amazing. Okay. So yeah, I already cleaned my face and I put this mask on. Um and I'm probably gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes and then take it off. This thing is getting tight, so if you see my mouth kind of like stiff, <laughs> that's why, but yeah. All right, you guys, so I just finished up my skincare. I don't have on any foundation, um, but I ended up doing the little bit of makeup that I did do off camera because I was filming a reel to promote this Support Black Women shirt, which is a part of the Black History Month collection. So that Dreamers Boulevard, if you don't know what Dreamers Boulevard is, that is a company that my man created and I am the co-owner, <laughs> excuse my son. But all people are welcome to support and show love to our pieces. You don't have to be black, but just make sure that you support black women. I love the top. Y'all know I love crop tops. Y'all know I love black. And y'all know I love black women, okay? Love, okay? Can't get enough of us. But yes, you guys, that is one of our pieces. I'll li link the website and everything in the description box. But your girl look good, okay? I decided to do a red lip because my nails is red and it's just giving. That's what it's giving, Black History Month. I feel like red lipstick really give Black History Month. Like, it really make black women lips pop. The red nails also. So that's the vibe I was going for with the little black and we look good. All right, y'all. So I'm finna get ready to make me some hot chocolate because we're out of coffee. I put back on my, well, I put a jacket on, just a house jacket and I ain't got really nothing under here because I just like chilling in jackets in the house. Um, and yeah, I'm doing my photos for the shirt. So go support a black owned business and shop, shop, shop and get you some black owned pieces, okay?
But yeah, I'm gonna use the Swiss, the milk chocolate, the one without the marshmallows. I'm not a fan of marshmallows at all, but I just really can't stand those little tiny ones that already come in here because I feel like you you don't really get the hot chocolate aesthetic feel because they're so tiny, they just melt away. So when I do put marshmallows in my hot chocolate, I just buy like the ones that come in a bag at the store. But yeah, we're just gonna do this for now. Well, you guys, I told y'all I've been up since two and this is the ending of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe and your girl is gonna take a nap. Peace out, y'all.